Hey guys and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about the power law isotropic hardening for metal plasticity. So what is the power law? As you might already know, in Abacus we define plasticity as a table of inputs. This type is linear hardening, whereas in power law we define hardening as a function. Thus, power law hardening is more accurate. Before going any further, please watch my other videos to fully understand the process of defining metal plasticity. Now, our steps in writing the VU mat are Obtain Mises predictor stress. You can define it with normal stresses or deviatoric stresses. The results are the same. Then, check for plasticity. If plasticity has not occurred, we don't need to change anything. However, if plasticity has happened, we have to define the flow stresses and the equivalent plastic strain, from which we calculate the new yield stress. Remember, in explicit integration, we don't need to iterate. However, if you want more accurate results, you can use the newton raphson scheme. Finally, we calculate the new stresses and update the plastic strains. Now, let's see an example. We want to model a metal with power law hardening with the specification as shown. Young modulus is 200 gigapascal for metal. Virgin yield stress is 400 megapascals. And the power law coefficient is 0 0.02. So this is the VU maths header I am sure you are all familiar with. Next some parameters and inputs, elastic constants. Now we calculate the new stresses. I am assuming a plane strain condition so I only have 4 sigmas. If plasticity has not occurred these sigmas are passed into abacus. Then we check for plasticity. First, we calculate the Mises stress, as you can see here. Next, I calculated the yield stress. This is from the uh, power law hardening formula. If Mises stress is greater than the yield stress, then we have plasticity. Next, the hydrostatic stress and the flow stresses. Now, we define the increment of the plastic strains. Remember that uh, before any plasticity, we have the uh, plastic strains from the previous steps in state old. So after that, we define the increment of the plastic strain and we obtain the new yield stress from the power law formula. Then we calculate the new stresses to be passed on to Abacus. Then we update the new states which is the uh, equivalent plastic strain. Remember that we have to define this line after the plasticity condition. Then I calculated the internal energy and that is the end of our subroutine. Now I'm going to test the subroutine intention and shear analysis. In this section, I've tested the subroutine intention and shear analysis and the results are consistent. The one on the left is from Abacus built-in option for isotropic hardening and the one on the right is from the VU mat that we have written. As you can see, the results are very close. Also, I've tested the subroutine for shear, and as you can see, the results are also valid. This concludes our video. If you find this video useful, please support me by liking and subscribing to my channel. Take care.